What's going on everybody? It's my Paul Barry. Thank you all so much for watching out of the video and what I want to talk about today is the state that Call of Duty is in right now and the gameplay watching in the background through this rough. I haven't played Black Ops 3 in weeks and yeah, I got my shit pushed in to begin with, but managed to turn it around quite well at the end. And dude, like I said, Black Ops 3, I just got bored of it, got sick of it, and instead of bitching and moaning about it, you just kind of put it down when you feel like that about it, and then just go back to it a few weeks later. And yeah, it feels a lot better. It does. But from the outside looking in, Call of Duty, it's it's in a bit of a mess. It's having a bit of a shit show. And you look at the Infinite Warfare trailer and the amount of hate that it got, it went about down as well as a bag of drowned kittens and over 2 million dislikes. The dislikes don't mean shit, to be fair. They, they honestly don't. It's like they've seen it on the internet, they've seen the friends do it, and they just jumped on the bandwagon. Yeah, I'm going to dislike it too. It's not the cries of the community. All over, like, I understand why people are doing it, but them dislikes, like, they, they, it doesn't mean anything. But what does mean something, obviously, is, like, Battlefield 1 and Titanfall 2. They're going to be the big hitters that come Christmas time when these games start dropping. And yeah, Call of Duty is going to have to step its game up. Is Call of Duty going to die this year? Absolutely fucking not. It's never going to happen. But what I hope it does do is get knocked down a peg or two because you've got Call of Duty Ghost, which is in an absolute state right now. Even on the PlayStation 4, man, it's just unplayable. I love Call of Duty Ghost and it's a shame to see it go this road. It really is. And you've got Advanced Warfare, which let's face it, it's fucking terrible. And you've got next to nobody playing them games, but you go look at Battlefield 4 and dude, it's, it's getting like 50,000 people at peak times on there. You know, that, that speaks volumes, it does. And when you have got people hating on your newest game and then you've got Black Ops 1 dropping on backward compatibility and people are just flocking over to it, you know, that speaks volumes, it really does. It's kind of like saying, you know, Activision, we are saying to you right now, the future of Call of Duty is definitely in the past. And I know that's a bit of an old cliche, but it is, it really is, because all this futuristic shit, it's just not going down well with everybody. As far as Infinite Warfare goes, the only thing I thought was good about the trailer was the David Bowie music. I'm not going to give it shit, and I'm not going to hate on it, because I haven't played it yet. You know, when I get my hands on, when I get to play a beta, if we get one, or when I've actually played the game, then we can make an assessment, we can make a judgement on it then. But until then, I'm just going to keep a head down about that. But no, the trailer, no, it doesn't make me tingle on my special parts, whereas Battlefield 1 does. Titanfall 2, yeah, I know that's like a futuristic next year and that's what the Call of Duty community is complaining about right now but Titanfall does it better you see the movements in Black Ops 3 and whilst they're cool the smooth the slick they're not a touch on what Titanfall can do and that's what that's what that's the one that I'm personally waiting for more as far as Activision goes with Call of Duty look they could fall in a barrel of dicks and they could come out sucking the thumb it's as simple as that if they they've got to learn something from this so I reckon with Infinite Warfare if it does fail then it's going to be last chance saloon with whatever Sledgehammer's doing next the fact that people are going back to Black Ops 1 and hating on the new game it doesn't look good no it doesn't but they'll come out of it you know Call of Duty right now apart from Black Ops 3 it's, it's going through its teenage years you know it's been rebellious it's been a bit of a dick it started smoking and it started you know going out with his mates for a joint it's getting in late it's chatting shit to its parents you know how it goes but once that's passed once these teenagers are futuristic and camping bastards passes, then we'll probably go back into a really good Call of Duty game. See that Hellstorm missile? Dude, that bitch was camping in the window and he just got fucking dragged right out of the fucker. So yeah, all being well, we're going to get past this Infinite Warfare stage and we're going to start looking towards the past again. I hope Black Ops 1 does well. I mean, I'm not going to play it. I've got an Xbox One, but I've got absolutely no interest in going back and playing games that I've played before. I haven't. For me, gaming in general, we got to start looking forward at what's coming out next, what's come out before, and we can give that old nostalgia cock a good old rub. So yeah, going back and playing Black Ops 1 and backwards compatibility, definitely not going to happen for me, but I can see why people want to do it. They are sick of this futuristic stuff. They want to go back and play a game that they're comfortable with, and I completely understand it. Is it going to be for me? Hell no, but it's going to be the same for a lot of people, and that's why people are hating on these futuristic style of games. Call of Duty... What it was was a military-based shooter, and then people did want change, but once that change happened, they didn't like it, and they wanted it to go back to what it was. Call of Duty shines at being a military-based shooter. It's as simple as that, and the sooner they realized that, and the sooner they realized they had such a great product here, then the sooner we're all going to be singing off the same hymn sheet, and we can start pushing on with Call of Duty together. People are going to move over to Battlefield 1 for a bit. All the Call of Duty players right now saying, that I'm going to go play Battlefield, I'm going to go play Battlefield. Yeah, they will. They'll go and play it for a bit and reasons that they're not going to stick around i'll talk about in a future video because the gameplay is just wrapping up now if you did enjoy this and want to see more you know what two buttons press by now share your opinions on this in the comment section below let me know your thoughts are on the state of call of duty as it is right now thank you all so much for watching i've been the bipolar bear cue the outro <laughs>